got pants and the whole night the light was on. Why you didn't sleep? And he said, what, what is the use of this body if it's not used? Yes, in, in Krishna service. Yes. Let me make the best use. I have very less time. Let me make the best use of my body, mind and soul in the service of Krishna. And he was nothing he was doing nothing but dictating and writing the translation all night. You know, he needs to eat. Our body needs rest, but he never took rest. And his standard rest was 10 to 12 in the night. And even that, he was not sleeping exactly. Yes, he was, it, it was so heartening. And it is because of him. Yes? Now, recently I was hearing a Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, he was saying, it's gone has made the Bhagavad Gita the ambassador all over the world. Throughout the world. It's become an ambassador of India, ambassador of India. Yes. And who did this? Srila Prabhupada. It's, it's translated into, I don't know how many languages, more than 65 languages it has been translated. And that was a figure long back now, I don't know the date is clear. And every airport it is there, everywhere it is there. Even Muslim countries, they the country it is there. Yes? And it's all because of Srila Prabhupada. He made a consistent effort. And what is and that is important of distribution, book distribution. Prabhupada says, my books are so powerful, even if somebody touches them, they will get a spiritual spark. That's why we tell, when we go for book distribution, we tell, please touch, touch the books. If you are not buying it, please touch. Because it has a we, we have faith in Prabhupada's words. Whether Vedas are true or no, it has to be true. But we don't have the, I don't have the intelligence to understand the Vedas. But Prabhupada has made the Vedas so simple for us, that in our ordinary intelligence, we can understand. Yes? And that's why Prabhupada's words like Veda Vyakya. Veda Vyakya. Yes? It 100% every word what Prabhupada has written is the truth. And when Prabhupada says we have to make the unfortunate fortunate by giving the go to the streets and distribute, we have to do it. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita 18 chapter 69 verse, one who distributes this uh, message of Bhagavad Gita is very dear to me and nobody is more dear to me than him. And he said, and who does not want to be dear to Krishna? We all want to be. And how we can do it? Distribute the books. Sponsor books. Sponsor. And all of us, we spend so much of time for our stuff, you know, family and things. Yes, of course, if you don't have money, please don't do. But if you have money and you can afford, please don't hesitate. Yes. The person who gets the help is blessed. The person who gives the help is doubly blessed. So whenever we help somebody, we should not think of the person. We are standing on the pedestal and think, oh, I'm helping. No. Thank Srila Prabhupada, thank Krishna, that he's using us as an instrument to help. To go and give the fortunate so Go to the street. It's so wonderful. But to give you one book, even if you don't give any books, also it's so wonderful to go on the streets and give. Sometimes we get such bad scoldings from people. And that humbles us. Yes? And not that matter, very honestly, you have to say, don't feel bad. That we go on the street, not feel bad. We go that person, that person doesn't mean anything. And even if he sees you next time, you won't recognize that you will recognize. So don't you feel they just go out in the streets and and we still have one more month. Yes, and the, the, the bliss what we get by distributing on the roads is to go and knocking at the door. So many people welcome. You know, there are Christians coming. I recently one, some Christian devotees came to our place and we told them, come in. I told them, yes, come. And 
introduce that. Okay. They refused to take water also. And then they saw our altar and all in the hall itself. We get the altar and they said, what do you use with? And he told them. I told them what we do and I showed them Bhagavad Gita and I said, and I congratulated them. I said, what you are doing, God will never forget. Yes? It's very important. People don't know that they are suffering. People don't know they have cancer. But we have to tell them, yes, we have, please, please, read, read the scripture. Life is short. Give for a great cause. And if we get the chance to give, and age sinks in so fast, and as we grow old, our, we, we are uh, losing the strength, we are losing energy. So whenever you have this, whatever strength you have now, please use it. Because later on, even if you want to do, we cannot do. We are not Sri Prabhupada, yes. And he will do it, but we may not be able to. So whenever we have energy, please do it. Don't waste time. Everything else is waste. Yes, we can tell you now, if you see the, <coughs> the great personalities, like, uh, what is this? Is this uh, some great personalities like Albert Einstein. Let's see what he has said. Okay. Albert Einstein says, whenever I reflect how God created this universe, Everything else seems to be superficial. And you know how great Albert Einstein is, yes? His brain was taken and kept for research after his death, yes? So intelligent, that great intelligent man, he's telling, when I reflect on what, how God created the universe, everything seems to be superficial, everything else. And he says that I use my main source of inspiration is Bhagavad Gita. When I, I I use that knowledge to do my scientific investigation. He says, this is Albert Einstein. He says he uses it for the scientific investigations and formation of his theories. This is what Einstein was using, Bhagavad Gita. And he can use, I think we should also use. Yeah, and Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi says that whenever life stares at me with disappointments and problems and doubts, I turn to a verse of Bhagavad Gita which can give me comfort. It is very true. Bhagavad Gita solves all problems in life, every problem. Sunita Williams, the American astronaut, was of Indian origin. She says, Bhagavad Gita keeps me grounded. Yes, she may be flying in the space, but it keeps her grounded in reality. She says, the trials and tribulations of Arjuna makes me reflect in my own, of my own life and keeps me grounded. Yes. This is a, these are the, some, some of the few materialistically important people of the world. Yes, I'm saying this Bhagavad Gita, as you see, is uh, taken as a compulsory textbook for some universities around the world, like U.S. universities. I know some, I think in New Jersey, some are in Paris, and some in uh, Australia. For MBA students, why MBA students? Business management students. One business management students. We all know that once the, they finish their MBA, they have to manage businesses. Yes? And with business comes tension, stress, and Bhagavad Gita helps us to, to, make, uh, to manage our stress. This is a. That's why it's been in, I think, in all the universities uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, it's a, uh, a Bhagavad Gita is a compulsory textbook in the schools. See, those Western countries are using it, but we, we have, I think all of us are either Indians or Indian origin, born of Indian origin, yes? You must understand. And we should not ape the rest. Yes, take from the rest what is good, but what is good in us, we should not give up. Make the best use. It, it is the manual for human life. We all have manuals. If you have a computer, we all know how to use a computer. Yes? 
But if you have the manual, you can make the best use of the computer. Same thing with phone, iPhone or what phone, whatever it is. The latest model comes. Yes, but if you have the manual, you can make the best use. Same way, human life, we know all what is good, what is bad, sending the truth, yes, being kind, going to the temple or church or mosque, whatever, once in a week at least. Yes, we all know that's good. But to make the best use of this human life, yes, Durlava Mamsha Janma. After many, many births of Punya, we are getting the human birth. So don't waste it. And we have to take it very seriously. We Bhagavad Gita and pray. And unconsciously you put it in, into practice. We put it into practice unconsciously. Best is to read at least one page a day, at least one page with purport, and one chapter a day with translation, only translation. You should do it more, but if you don't have time, life is at least one page a day with purport. Because Prabhupada has taken so much of trouble to show us how we can put it in our day-to-day life. So we read the purport. And one um, chapter, just the translation is, is recommended. And unconsciously we start putting. And every day must we have to read Bhagavatam, Sima Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, Chaitanya Tarkantam. Or at least Maksima Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita to start with. It is very important. Unconsciously we work. It is, we should not, it won't be boring, 100% guarantee. It will never be boring. It is Dine Dine Navam Navam. Dine Dine Navam Navam. It is so wonderful. So we should make it as a, you know what, we, we have to have a dinner and lunch or bathing if we do every day. Similarly, we have to read Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam chanting, do chanting this every day. This is the minimum we can do. And our life will be successful. Yeah, there are so many incidences in Bhagavad Gita. And uh, I can, maybe I'll give the proof before or your, because I don't know whether I'll have time. Anyway, it is said that in the year 1998, I'm just giving this because I may not have time. In the year 1998, uh, one gentleman came to Iskong Tirupati and he said, Do you all have Bhagavad Gita as it is? Said, yes, we got and we gave and we're so excited. And as soon as he saw that, he started crying. So, I should be asked. 1998 is just recently, yes? Not many centuries back. It's just recently. He said, yes, why are you crying? He said, actually I was dead. I left my body. I died. Yamudutas ke alay alay tana. Yamudutas ke and took me. And but when I went, I went the Yamudutas took me, I was there in the main place. I was told that, oh, it's the wrong person. Please send me back. So the Yamudutas brought me back. When they brought me back, they told me, they gave me a suggestion, an advice, you can say, go to the local Krishna temple and take the book Bhagavad Gita as it is. He didn't say go to any temple, he said go to local Krishna temple, Tirupati, yes? Go to the local Krishna temple and take the book Bhagavad Gita as it is and read you will never see us again. It's a true story. It's not a story, it's a live incident. So Bhagavad Gita, as it is, he said. Yes, there are many Bhagavad Gitas. There is only one Bhagavad Gita, but it's explained by many people. Yes, so we have to be very careful not to change. There are people who change for, according to their own convenience. And it is true. I have the personal experience. I remember when I was in Muscat, we had a Bhakti Riksha. One of the Bhakti Riksha members was going to one Bhagavad Gita session for 10 days or 12 days. Somebody had come from another who want to name that institution or the organization. They had, one of the senior disciples of the founder Acharya of that organization had come to give at the local temple lectures on Bhagavad Gita. I think 10 days or 12 days, whatever. And then and this person was went and the devotee and she she enjoyed it. And she told Mother, she must see this. I said, okay, let me 
Let's see what is that. What's the difference between them and us? And yes, she was a very good orator. Very good. And now it's an elite, whatever. But in one of them, he said, Krishna says, Saradharma Paridhyaja Mame Kam Charmaja Aam Tam Swarasya Pabedu Moksha Shami Master. Then she says, Krishna says this, but it can be any Ishta Devata. Now you like Lord Shiva, you should it completely, leave everything inside you. You like Durga, you do. You take Karma, you do. You like Shiva, you do. You do anything. That's what it means. But does it mean that? No. That is why we have to hear from the proper authorities. And the best authority is Bhagavata as it is. Because Prabhupada has explained it without changing the meaning. And it's not because I'm in a scholar and telling you, but that's the fact. That's what I experienced. And we know the truth now, what the Yamaduta said. The Yamaduta said to go to the local Krishna by Bhagavad Gita as it is. He mentioned the word as it is. Yamadutas. They are not from here. They come directly from Krishna. Yes? So, please take, sponsor these books. If you all go and distribute, it will be good. But if you can't, please let, give it to the temple, the temple will distribute. Yes, we will distribute it. But please do it. Don't make, don't miss this opportunity. Because Krishna says, one who helps the other, others to, to get the Bhagavad Gita, the message of Bhagavad Gita is very dear to me. Nobody is more dear to me than him. And all of us let us become. And who is Krishna? Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And all of us, we must make it a point to read. Just read every day, little at least. Say, oh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, due to his visit to the South India, one of the temples, this happened as he was as he was going, he saw little children and the ladies, some of them, they were laughing at a man who was having Bhagavad Gita and tears were rolling and he was crying and these children were laughing. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went up to him and said, what happened? Why are you crying? What is this? He said, it's Bhagavad Gita. He said, why are they laughing? You are I'm reading. He said, what? If you are reading, why are they laughing? Saying, they know that I do not run my unpart, I am I mean, illiterate, I don't know to read, and that is why they are laughing. Uh, okay, they are laughing, but you don't know to read, and what are you reading? They are seeing everything. You just, so why are you reading when you don't know? He said, My Guru Maharaj told me to read Bhagavad Gita, and I'm reading, and he's just looking at the pictures, and you know, and reading, and crying, and crying. And then he said, But why are you crying? You don't know anything, you don't know to read, but why are you crying? He says, I'm crying because see Krishna, how merciful, how wonderful he is. That he is the supreme, he is the creator, maintainer, destroyer of the entire world. All the heavenly planets, all the, uh, all the universes. He's a generator, operator, destroyer. And yet, he is doing the uh, most humble service of becoming a charioteer, a driver for his disciple. How compassion, how much love and affection he has for him. <coughs> this is what is Krishna. Krishna is the supreme personality of God. Yes? And but he, he is so merciful, compassionate. He, he, he says, just remember me, just surrender unto me. I will liberate you from all sinful reactions. And he tells Arjuna, declare this boldly. My devotee shall never perish. I will protect you. You know, usually they say, oh, we read Bhagavad Gita, we become sannyasis, we have family, we have husband, wife, children, uh, parents to take care of. We cannot sit and this not for our age, it's for the old age. Yeah? You get this many times, we get, I mean, in your books, we get this messages, yes? No. Arjuna wanted to become a sannyasi. He says, no. Bhagavad Gita came, came out only because Arjuna wanted to become a sannyasi. He didn't want to do his duty. He says, no, no, I don't want to do my duty. I just want to be good and nice and, you know. He wanted to give up the battle. He didn't want to fight in the battle. Krishna says, no, fight in the battle. And that's what is important. Yes? 
But the Gita teaches us to live in our life. He gives us the strength and courage to face our life's problems. But Adi Sankaracharya, he says, yes, Bhagavad Gita is like a, if you have any one book, you can manage your time. Yes? If we are so very hardest of time, but we have to do something minimum for our soul. And if you have no if you have to read something and only one book, then read Bhagavad Gita. Just a little of Bhagavad Gita. Yes. And you have one mantra to chant, chant and you know going on. This is Adi Shakracharya said, not me. So Adi Shakracharya said. And then he says, uh, then, if you have one god to worship, please offer flowers or uh, do arti to Krishna. Yes? And drama will never come to you. Says, one book is Bhagavad Gita. One uh, god to worship is Krishna. And if little to do Archana and just do it, some worship for Krishna, you will go back to Godhead. And this is what, and one mantra to chant, chant the name, Bhaja Govinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This is what Anshadra Charya said. And he's not but he is Sadashiva, he's the incarnation of Lord Sadashiva. Yes, and he has, he has given us this solution. He says, <clears throat> Bhagavad Gita is so purified. It is pure, plus it is purified. We all know the eyes of Krishna is the sun. Yes, is the sun. And now the sun, how what it does, how it's, it is non partial it is equal to everyone. The muddy water also will get evaporated. The normal water from the pond also gets evaporated. Yes? And when the muddy water gets evaporated, the base becomes clean. Yes? And what it, and then what happens? It becomes clean. And then, does the sun get affected by it? The sun is not affected by it. The base becomes clean, but he is not affected by it. And then what happens? Does it smell? Does it eat? Now suppose we eat dal falls on the floor. We take a tissue paper and we clean up. Yes? The dirt goes from the place, but it, the, the thing, the tissue becomes dirty. So when, but this does not happen to a person who gives Bhagavad Gita. So, Bhagavad Gita is so pure and purified, it never gets contaminated and devotees who give the Bhagavad Gita to others never get contaminated. It will purify us also, it will purify the person who gets it also. It is so powerful. Yes? So, all the, uh, all the problems of life get solved by reading Bhagavad Gita. It gives us a strength. That's what it is a, the proof of Kuvita is reading. Those who are not reading Bhagavad Gita, how many of us are not reading Bhagavad Gita every day? Can you just put on that? Okay, that's good. Now, I can start. The proof of the Kuvita is eating, just start. And see, just do for 15 days and see the difference. Read one chapter, it takes about 10 minutes. Just read one chapter, only the translation and one verse. Or one page. Whatever, the verses may be long also. Just one verse and see the difference. Unconsciously we start putting it in our day to day life. Do it for 15 days and it doesn't make a positive effect in the next few stuff. And this book, when uh, it says it solves all the problems in life, I can give you another example. When I was very young, I used to read Bhagavad Gita because my dad had given me a gift. I used to read it every day. Then, before my marriage it happened, I was in, staying in a hostel. I got a call 
telling that my dad was passed away. My dad was a healthy man. He was, he was 58 and I couldn't accept it. It was difficult for me to accept it. I was in the, there was a lift. I didn't even wait for the lift elevator. I ran the stairs and I cried and I said, Krishna, please tell me this is not true. Let my dad. My dad was very healthy, man, very thin, very thin, and very healthy, very active. So I said, let him be serious, let him be sick, but let him not be dead. He never went once to the hospital. I never seen my dad going to the hospital for any sickness. But he died. That's what I was told. So I went to Krishna. I opened my Bhagavad Gita and I said, please give me the answer. Your, this is your lips. This is your lips. This is your tongue. This is your tongue. Please give me an answer. Talk to me. And when I opened, what came, my eyes fell on that. Verse, what? When a person is born, death is sure to take place. Yes? Then I said, no, this is coincidence. I opened another page. Very sincerely if you do it. Open another page. And I said, Krishna, please, please tell me no. And then he said, they you know spend, you know, the they you know spend yet are they. The body is like a garment. When it gets old, it has to die. You know, when it gets so then again, third time I said, no, Krishna, this is this is also a coincidence, you know. I couldn't accept. I opened the third time. And the third time also the same thing happened. So, so the third time also the same thing happened. And then I knew, yes, my father is no more. And then I prayed to please give me the strength. I started reading Bhagavad Gita and he gave me the strength. It's very, uh, especially for young girls, you know, who's not married, like, they are dependent on the parents, yes? They, their life are sold on the parents. It is it's very devastating. But Krishna takes care. We depend on Krishna. He takes care. So, that's why I'm saying, any problem in life is solved. And, uh, uh, I can, I would want to name the person, name the devotee here. There is, uh, there, are, there are some devotees here, there is a couple. Mm, uh, I would want to name them. But, it so happened when they first came to Canada to, you know, we do this, starting on the visa. So, I mean, just go and stay in our friends or family, you know. I didn't even know them. And my husband told me that some devotees are, some people are coming, they want to start the visa. I said, so long as they don't mind staying with us, I don't mind, you know, I give them a room. And it so happened, they saw some of these songs, I was everywhere, Krishna pictures, and it was weird, you know, and she was a devotee of another uh, skanda, you know, Burga, what do you call it, Shanmukananda, or Kathika, Rajivasan. And she was feeling weird everywhere. What is this people? They thought, okay, we have come from Muscat, so we, you know how people, you know, materially we. She was feeling weird. So one day she asked me, and she said, only for one, one week they stayed. And one day they asked, she asked me, when we were putting away the dishes, she asked me, were you like this before marriage also? Uh, doing all this art. You know, she attended art the other day, and she said, I said, no, not really. But then I started talking. And you know, in his country, what is you know with this? Once you start, you start preaching. <laughs> and this is what happened. And went on, went on talking and talking and talking. Krishna is the Supreme Krishna, is that Krishna, is this, and that, and this, and all went on telling. And then uh, she said, uh, uh, I went on till 3 o'clock, okay? Till 3 o'clock. Then she said, you know, um, I am a devotee of uh, Shalmukhananda, like Kathika. I said, yeah, very good. That is, uh, Krishna says, uh, among all the generals in Bhagavad Gita, is among all the generals, I am uh, Kartika. And uh, he says, oh, then I can chant Kartika say, instead of Krishna say. I said, I said, Krishna is Kartika, I said. So I said, no. The why? You were saying Krishna is Sarnoka, Krishna is everything. I said, no. Krishna is Kartika, but Kartika is not Krishna. How is that? And that person is an intelligent person, I know mathematics, you know. So I said, how can you prove? Then I explained, you know, what it is. You know, Vishwaru Padashana and all that I explained. And then, you know, still, no matter how much you say, it's difficult. So I said, I said, I was talking and talking and it became 3 o'clock in the morning. And I said, morning we had to go to Niagara, you know. And we, I didn't see how the time passed. And then she said, stop, stop, Kabla, stop. So what happened? Are you reading my mind? I said, no. 
I don't want to read my mind. I cannot read my mind only what I read your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not you know why I'm telling you. So every time I have a question in the mind, you are answering the question. And I prepare another question and you're answering before I ask the question. And it's happened three, four times. I think you're reading my mind. <laughs> I said, see, and it was late night like, three o'clock. You know, when such things happen here, this you get scared also. So she was scared. So I said, see. I am not a mind reader, I don't know anything to read. Yes. I said, why do you have to ask questions and why should I answer? Best is you have a doubt, ask Krishna himself directly. This is a tongue of Krishna. I said, come, come, let me react to her to the altar side, where my Bhagavad Gita is, and because the Bhagavad Gita said, see, okay, you ask a question and you open it. You only open it. And ask, pray sincerely, but pray sincerely to Krishna and you ask, he'll answer. Then, for her is, the doubt was, Krishna is a supreme or not? Yeah, that was a doubt. Because she found any Vaskata is supreme. So she opened. And when she opened, it came and there was said, you know, like that Krishna says, you know, it came that like he's the supreme. I said, no, no, it may be coincidence, close it, open it again. Maybe coincidence. So she opened again. Again it came that he's the supreme smart one. And again, you know, the lesser intelligent people worship the devatas. Yes. That. And then again, I said, no, no, this also may be coincidence. Open again. And I prayed to Krishna, you better keep my words true. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I prayed myself, I was telling my mind. She doesn't open, I prayed. Then I told you better, Krishna, please. Then I said, no, no, second or second time, I was going to be coincidence. Please open again. So again she opened. And again it came, you know, that I make that faith unshakable. Yeah, every day he says, and I said, see. Three times, come oh. And she said, okay, okay. And then she, I told you, realize it's three o'clock and you're going morning like that. So, okay, let's go to sleep. No, she went to sleep, I went to sleep. And then she went, that's the little girl, my husband asked, what were you doing so long? Okay, you're talking so much, you know. Then she told him the story, what happened. And the next day when Aarti, we finished Aarti and all in the morning, and uh, we, were, we had to go, then she said, see, my husband is, Kamala, my husband is telling this, and he was surprised. I said, come, come, Prabhuji, come. You also, mm, I, I, I told his name for you. You also come and check. Let's see what, what's, let's see. Right? And I prayed to Shanti, please, please, please answer them. Right? And I really prayed sincerely. And I said, now you pray very sincerely to Krishna and ask. I said, if you pray sincerely, let me answer. And he opened. And he said, it came like he's a materialistic person. Okay? And again, he closed. I said, no, no, he just closed. Ask another time. Maybe. So again, again it's about materialistic people only came. And the third time, again materialistic people. And what happened? Then I started laughing. I said, see, I'm not saying this. It's Krishna say. Then, so what, then he asked, what is this? Earning the family and we are earning, we are want to earn more and more because we have to do for our family. We have to, you know. I said, no, not. There's nothing wrong in earning. You have to earn. It was your duty. You have to give the best to your family. That's your duty. You have to do it. But out of that, give for Krishna also. Because Krishna needs, we have to spread Krishna consciousness. We need to give for everything. And how will other the people who have, we give the have nots, yes? So if we have to distribute, we have to give. So please do this. Then he said. Then he does. And today, there are one of very, very senior leaders in our temple. What they say, I have to listen. Yes? So that is the thing. But just take it seriously. Now what the thing is, what Bhagavad Gita can do to man? The gist of this thing is what Bhagavad Gita can do to man. When we read Bhagavad Gita, it is said, in Bhagavad Gita says, um, like, it's like a glass of my, uh, water, you know, dirty water. What we do? Keep it under the tap. And let the water, this dirty, dirty water goes up, you know, it starts for overflowing, yes? It starts overflowing, 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 and then what happens? Clean water comes. Yes? That is what Bhagavad Gita, reading Bhagavad Gita is like that. Reading Bhagavad Gita is the more we read, the more we read, our heart gets cleansed. We become pure. We, we start getting attachment to Krishna. Our life's problems get solved. It's not that, oh, I will not get problems. What, Mother? You told me I'm reading and what so many problems are. No. Life problems, guess what? He will give you the strength and courage to bear the problems and uh, do what you have to do in the right manner. 
you won't get into depression and you know that's what it means that you know that it is going to rain what do you do you just walk all the right down only no you take an umbrella yes you take an umbrella to cover yourself to protect yourself same way you read bhagavad gita and when we read bhagavad gita we are protected by krishna krishna says sarva dharma paritya maam ekam sadam ja हाँ तो मुझे ऐसे पापे भी मुझे मुझे क्या भी मास्टर अब आई नो दैट इट्स ऑर्डिनेशन एंड सरेंडर टू मी आई विल डिलीवर यू फ्रॉम ऑल सेल्फुल रिएक्शंस डू नॉट फियर दैट्स वन बगल की तरह डस मीन बगल की तरह हेल्प्स अस इराइटेड आसिस एंड व्हेन वी गिव वी शुड नॉट बी द व्हाट वी शुड नॉट बी वाटर इन स्नैगमेंट वाटर इन द वेल The more we draw water from the well, the more pure water we get. And we have Krishna with us. Don't give it to us. Give it to others. Go to the streets. Give it to others. Give Bhagavad Gita to others. We may not have the intelligence or this one to to preach, but give them. And at least donate. So please, please donate. This is an opportunity. It is just. Bhagavad Gita is there, and whole month is there for us. Yes, please donate. Those who are not donated, please donate. How many times we have gone to tea parties? People they take coffee or tea in tea parties. It's like that. How much time? Ten times you do this one. One box of Bhagavad Gita is gone. I don't know how much was the rate of the whatever the coffee or tea is. Whatever you know, we spend so much. You go to uh, the groceries, groceries. Uh, You know, we buy so many things for our life. How many months we need? Two meals a day to a roof to stay, to clothes to wear. Yes, we spend so much. Give this Bhagavad Gita. Just think of giving it. Krishna is the head of the family, and you are giving it to Krishna. You are spending for all the pleasure of Krishna. You spend for the pleasure so much. You buy chocolates for your children. Yes, give for Krishna. It's like that. Krishna is going to be very happy. Just like a child goes to the Parent and his one children, and, and parents is very happy. My child gave it's Krishna's. It is the father's uh, money, but the child is giving. But parents is very happy. Similarly, Krishna is very happy. If one child helps another child in the family, the father is very happy. The parents are very happy. See, my child is helping the other one who is unfortunate. Same way, we are all children of Krishna. If we bring the child. We give Krishna consciousness to somebody, and that child comes back, comes to Krishna, becomes Krishna conscious. The father is happy. He wants us all back to Godhead. Krishna wants us all back, and we have to do it. Take it seriously. Please sponsor today also. There are how many of you want to sponsor those who are not sponsored and those who want who are sponsored also can sponsor. If anybody can do it, please do. One box, half box, anything. We have spent so much. Yes, and I think Nimal Prabhu will be taking over. I got so many things to say, but I think I'll stop. It's time up. Okay. So most important thing is read Bhagavad Gita, give Bhagavad Gita to others, and not only Bhagavad Gita, anything of Prabhupada's books. Yes, please distribute, and Prabhupada will be very happy. He will really to make Prabhupada happy is so easy. Just give books. Yes, and read his books. So read his books, give his books, and chant. And Baba will take care of us. Even if Krishna expects <coughs> us to do something, but Baba no. Just read, chant, and give the books to others. Yes, with this I'll end. End. Thank you, Krishna. Thank you. Inspire. It's all because of my guru and Sri Baba and the Vaishnavas blessings. If I'm not inspired, no. And I'm not up to your expectations. Please forgive me. That is all because of my foolishness and my sins. Thank you very much. Please forgive me. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Sanjay Bhavani, for this powerful and inspiring class. So big round of applause for Sanjay Bhavani. So we say, like you know, Mercedes also part of our core uh, book distribution team, and uh, and we say, like you know, 
sees the powerhouse, or sees the energy of that group that keeps us driving. So, like, like what she said, like, you know, giving away. There are like a lot of kind of charity, but this knowledge that you can distribute, that you are helping yourself, not the others. Let's say we in a selfish way, that thought in a selfish way. How it can help me if I'm giving away food to someone, right? If you give a food to someone, it will satisfy your mind, mind. But but now giving the books that we are studying, and we are creating the same like-minded people around us. So that's all. So that's a, 